بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا علم من آياتنا شيئا اتخذها هزوا أولئك لهم عذاب مهين صدق الله العظيم and here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and if they learn anything from our ayat, they take it as a mocking thing, as a laughing stock. So subhanallah, rather than learning from the ayat of Allah, Allah pointing people to understand about his creation and that there is a creator and about the deen of Islam, they take it as a laughing stock. So here subhanahu wa ta'ala the context was the mushrikeen of Quraysh who used to mock the tawheed, the oneness of Allah who used to mock the ayat and here in uh, Imam At-Tabari's tafsir he's saying that this is in reference to Abu Jahl who used to, when he was taught, spoken about the Shajarat al zaqqum the tree from the depths of Jahannam that will be the food of the people of Jahannam. He mocked this, or what is, you know, mocked this accusation or, or this, uh, this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about the reality of Jahannam that they will eat from the Shajarat al zaqqum He mocked this uh, as, in, as, as nothing. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is referring to him, but not only to him, too. All people who mock the ayat of Allah. And looking at today's world, people don't uh, go and directly mock the ayat of Quran or the, 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 the belief of Islam. There are people obviously out there that do that, but generally what we find in the general public, they do not mock uh, Islam, the, uh, you know, the ayat, the Quran directly. But what they do mock is the Sharia of Islam. They mock the rules of Islam. They look at, for example, Islam's, how Islam deals with men and women. And they look at this as a backward thing. They mock the, how we protect our women and we have different roles for men and women. So for example, uh, a year or so ago, when uh, the new leader of the MCB, Muslim Council of Britain, was elected, it was a, a Muslim sister. And she was on, went on the BBC Women's Hour radio show. And the presenter of the radio show asked her a really, um, in, in an aggressive way, how many women imams are there? And she really pressed upon this and really tried to humiliate her. How many women imams are there? And this is an example of how they try and mock, not directly the ayat of Quran, but Sharia of Islam. So they wanted to find out, you know, mock how we deal with women and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created men and women differently. This is the glaringly obvious that the men and women are different, not only physically, emotionally, and in all aspects of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gave us the Sharia, rules and regulations for men and rules and regulations for women. And with their modern feminist movement, they try and mock this as a backward thing, as a uh, lack of equality, as a way to oppress women. When we look at their society, it is their women that are oppressed to unbelievable levels. When I was given a khutbah, about the Sarah Everard uh, case when unfortunately uh, she was uh, raped and killed. I looked into the stats relating to the abuse of women and sexual abuse of women is something like in certain age groups, it's like 90% of women uh, below the age of 40 or something like this from what I remember have been either sexually molested or abused. So who is the one that should be? Which civilization should be under attack for the treatment of women and which civilization should be under scrutiny for the civilization for the treatment of women? And they also want to mock the some of the punishment systems in Islam, how we deal with punishments of uh, of, of crime. When we look to civil the Western civilization, you know, crime is at 
unbelievable levels. I live in London. You do not, when you hear the police racing past with their sirens, you don't even take notice of it. You can go to some parts of the Muslim world and leave your car door open. Women can walk freely in the middle of the night wearing jewelry and gold. So which civilization should be under scrutiny and attack? So rather than attack the ayat of uh, Allah, they want to attack the Sharia because what their aim is, they want to separate Muslims from the Sharia. They want to separate us from our deen and we, know, we should know that the Sharia is Islam. It cannot be separated. So when they attack the Sharia, they are attacking us, they are attacking Islam, they are attacking Muslims. We should not see that as a separate thing. And we should rather, we should stand up to defend Islam. And rather we should stand up and say your civilization should be under scrutiny. Look to the track record of your civilization. The, and, and how it has in the last two, three hundred years, not only turned civilization, you know, created huge amounts of wealth, it creates huge amounts of poverty and discrepancy in society. It has been such a devastating civilization that in its 200 years track record history, it has brought the world itself to its knees, the nature to its knees. There is now discussion about going to another planet to populate another planet because we have destroyed this planet. It is not we that have destroyed this planet. It is Western civilization that has destroyed this planet. So we should Look at this ayat as referring to those that want to mock the Sharia of Islam in today's world. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to say, lahum muhin. For those there is a humiliating punishment. So anyone that tries to mock Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in store for them is a humiliating punishment wa aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullahal azim